black rednecks and white liberals. And this is thoughts while thinking, and these opinions are mine. And the Democrats think that the black people are incapable of achieving anything without the help of white people. And Republicans in the right think that blacks can achieve anything they put set their mind to do without any help from the white people. And that's the difference. And the liberals try to put the blacks in a black box and keep them there. They hate the ones that they have success and achieve accomplishments and all over. And when they don't like the free thinkers, they like to keep them in the box. And we have some mighty powerful black politicians and statesmen. And we appreciate you signing up and subscribing. And we got the black rodeo stars that think free and do their own thing. And then we got the black rebels that they think their own thanks and do their own thing. And uh, Thomas Sowell says it takes considerable knowledge to know and realize the extent of your own ignorance. And that's kind of where we're looking at. And we got to look at these free thinkers uh, and to keep them out of the box. And they don't want to be in the box. They want to do whatever they want to do. And they got a right to do it. And I can subscribe and subscribe. I appreciate it. And our founding fathers uh, knew that uh, God created all men equal and they promoted and gave this country of what it needs to do that and we don't need to be supporting uh, and uh, taking care of anybody else we got individual freedom and we've got some uh, really powerful black persuasive people and we've got this white fragility that's afraid to speak up and come out with anything and we got to quit blaming everybody else for where we are we're there because of our own thinking and we got to quit telling the black people that uh, they're uh, a disgrace to their own people if they achieve success in the white man's world. And one man uh, and one romance and one uh, human race. That's what we are, one human race. And social justice can easily become class warfare and polarize a nation while the uh, leaving those at the bottom in a blind alley of resentment, no matter how many avenues of success is available to them. Think about some of this stuff. And we appreciate you si signing up and subscribing. And uh, a liberal, uh, they just want you to think exactly like they do. They don't want a free thinker. And Thomas Sowell said, it's so easy to be wrong and persist in being wrong when it cost the other people uh, for, for being wrong. Think about that. We've got to get out of that. And uh, 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 rebels do not cause trouble. Trouble causes their rebels. Think about some of this stuff. Appreciate you liking and subscribing. And Malcolm X, uh, way back yonder, knew that the white people was the biggest enemy of the black people and uh, trying to keep them in that box. And now the white liberals see themselves as uh, as uh, standing on a block and the blacks worshiping them uh, because of uh, all the things that they do for them. They think about it. And uh, <clears throat> the white liberals are mostly offended or mostly fooled. And think about this stuff. And Walter Williams said, uh, liberals hold whites accountable to civilized standards of behavior but not the blacks. From the liberal point of view, it would even be racist to expect a black to adhere to civilized standards and behavior. Well, we got to go upon with that. And uh, we've got success in the black world all over. And Thomas Sowell says when people get used to preferential treatment, equal treatment seems uh, like discrimination. And that's kind of where we are right now. And you got to pursue your dreams. You got to be a rebel and go for your dreams. And I'm alive for two reasons. One, I was born, and the other, I haven't died yet. And I thought he owes some ghosts, and we will see you on the flip side.